My favourite porn category is... Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Thomas if you're brand new here and I make style and hair related videos every single week here on YouTube. Welcome to today's video where I'm just doing a QA. and uh, I had a person on Snapchat not so long ago ask me, Hey Thomas, I noticed that you hadn't done a Q&A in a while and I thought, yeah, you're right, I haven't. <laughs> so what I did is I took to the new community section on YouTube. I don't know if you guys have seen, they've made a feed type thing where you can actually post photos and just normal stuff on YouTube and you guys can come along and like and comment and da 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 da. So yeah, I got like 71 questions come in which was really overwhelming and cool. There was tons of really awesome questions uh, relating to hair and more general stuff like, you know, my fitness routine, my favourite porn category. What? Yeah, my favorite porn category. Somebody actually wanted to know that. And I will be answering that in this video too. So if you are a dirty bastard and you want to know my favorite porn category, make sure you hang around to the end because, yeah, fuck it, I'm going to answer it. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so question number one is from Vinit Carpenter. He says, or she says, I'm not really sure if this is a boy or a girl. Tom, your fitness routine. Right, good question actually. What do I do to stay in shape? Oh, actually, I wore this single on purpose. <laughs> No, if you follow me on Snapchat, you'll know that I've been working out and eating a lot differently lately. And in just the space of about six weeks, I've seen a real dramatic change in my body. And not only has it been a fitness thing, but it's also been a food thing. I'm yet to start documenting it because I'm just working it out for myself. I'm actually just trialing and erroring different things on my body and seeing what happens. And then once I get my routine in place, that is something I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in future. But yeah, I've just been working really closely with Brandon. You know, we did Timid Talk a while ago. I'll touch on that actually a bit in future. But yeah, that's basically the bottom line of that. I have been working out more and it's pretty much just a blend of going to the gym and doing weights, plus doing little home workout routines as well, which I am gonna be touching on. Just be patient and I will get to that and I'll show you how I get these guns. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Question number two is from Jackson Shaver. He says, do you ever get so frustrated with your hair that you want to cut it all off? Um, yes. <laughs> if I sat here and said, oh no, I have a perfect hair day every single day and I love my hair completely and my hair's so good, I'd be fucking lying to you. My hair is so crazy and so out of control sometimes that yes, I do feel like I'm just shaving the whole thing off. So in answer to that question, absolutely I do and I'm with you and I feel you. And please, I don't want to give anyone the idea that I have perfect hair days every single day. In fact, this hairdo today is quite, I don't know, I actually was just wearing wigs, so... <sighs> I can, yeah, it's not that great. Anyway, let's move on. That, uh, I do, I'm not gonna shave my head, okay? I'm not doing it. The next question is from Armando Ibanez. I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I got that wrong. Uh, they say, if you could go back in time, what would you change? Do you regret the decision of making videos for YouTube? That's a really good question, actually. And the answer, I think, is no, because everything I've built to date uh, has really given me a lot of pleasure. It's given me a lot of insight into the digital world, um, currently where things are right now. Everybody's looking towards content creators because the whole world is going towards social media. There's just this crazy frenzy at the moment and a big demand for people that can create content. So yeah, and I think uh, all the success I've made on YouTube so far is definitely something to be grateful for. And not only that, before I went to Canada, which is when my YouTube channel started to take off, I was actually in England for a little while and I decided, because I wasn't really doing much with my life, I was like, well, I'll just apply for Big Brother and see what happens. Turns out I got through all the different stages in the Big Brother UK um, series that they have. Like, you have to go through multiple different things. I had to have psych interviews, I had to have interviews with the producers, all that kind of stuff. And when I got to Canada, they were like, hey, do you want to come and do a rehearsal? And I had like an ultimatum really, because I had like $2,000 in my bank account. I could have gone back and done the whole Big Brother thing, or I could have stayed in Canada, had the life experience that I have now, and eventually gone on to make the YouTube videos. I guess if I had gone back to England, it wouldn't have turned out this way. So I'm really pleased that everything's panned out the way it has. And yeah, I probably wouldn't go back and change it if I could, because what, Big Brother, like, it's like a 15 minutes of fame and then what? I don't know, everything I've created here means so much more to me now. That's my two cents on that. Okay, next question is from Zombieboy17894. He says, what's your favorite haircut you wouldn't pull off? Mine is a crew cut. <laughs> Very good question, actually. You know what, the hairstyle that I've always kind of wanted to have but never really thought that I could was the comb over, like what uh, Robin James has. It's a really nice, like smooth, 
um, how do you call it, gentleman's haircut, and my hair's never been smooth enough or fine enough or um, tame enough to look like that. And yeah, I've never been able to picture it on my head. I've never been able to do it. Even when I've had my hair chemically straightened, I've just never been able to have that beautiful gentleman comb over. Um, so yeah, I'm really jealous. All right, next question is from Sebastian. Sebastian says, what's your long time goal with the channel? Do you wanna be a full time YouTuber? That's a good question as well. Uh, of course I wanna be a full time YouTuber. If I could sit here and make videos for you guys day in, day out, that would be amazing. As it stands at this point in time, I have to have another job in order to support my myself and actually pay for all of this stuff that I get. Um, but I am working on it and yeah, that is the final goal. I would love to just be a content creator for the rest of my life. If that's all I could do, that would be amazing. It's my favorite thing. Next question is from Brandon Pina or Pina, I don't know which that one is. I'm, again, I'm bad at names. Uh, what can I do to make my curls stand out more without using a curl activating spray? I hate using it because it kind of makes my hair hard. <sighs> Hello Brandon, I suffer from the exact same thing. You use a little bit too much curl defining cream and all of a sudden you've got these real ugly, crunchy looking curls. And I have been trialing and erroring for so long since I've had all of this hair uh, to find what the best solution for me was. And I actually did a video not long ago about how I've been defining my curls with a hair clay. I've been using Blue Man Hybrid Cream Clay to really mold my curls into shape and because of the delayed hold activation, it holds them in place all day without them looking like really frizzy like they do. So make sure, I'm gonna leave a card just up here so you can go and check that out. But yeah, that's probably my best bet and I do know what you mean by using like a curl defining product and it actually makes your hair all crunchy and hard. I get the same thing and it really, really annoys me. Like you'd think someone would figure it out by now. The next question is from Neptune M. Neptune says, what is your way to stop overthinking and reduce stress? After all, stress can F up our hair. No kidding, um, this is a really good question. But for me personally, I found the most time that I'm stressing is usually out of fear because I'm not gonna get something done. And I usually find I spend a lot of time focusing on the fact that I'm afraid or focusing on the negative aspects of not getting something done that I waste all of that time not even focusing on the tasks that I need to do to get what I need to get done done, if you know what I mean. It's like an uneven distribution of where your attention's going. If you're putting more attention on the stress of things uh, rather than the more attention on getting things done, you're gonna feel more stressed and it's more likely that you're not gonna get things done which will cause you to have a meltdown. That's in my opinion what happens and I've just decided to like, anytime I feel stressed, I go, right, where is my attention? What am I trying to achieve? Am I doing tasks that are gonna get me to that goal? And if I am, then great. If I'm not, then I better redirect and swap it around because if I don't get done what I wanna get done, of course I'm gonna be afraid and I'm gonna stress out. So that's my way of combating that. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> All right, and for question number eight, this one is from Geordie Timmers. Geordie says, is there something you hate about having long hair? Ooh, yes, there is. Uh, there's a few things actually. So one of the things I really don't like about having long hair is a, the amount of products that I use compared to what I used to use before when I had the undercut, right? I um, would only use half the amount of products. Now I'm using all these moisturizing products but for a whole head of hair and I run out quicker which means I have to buy more frequently and it's burning a hole in my wallet. So <laughs> yeah, that's what I hate about it. Not only that, I notice a lot, uh, a lot more hair fall <laughs> if you've seen my hair fall video. Uh, since having a full head of hair, I've noticed it's more noticeable that all my hair's coming out and I can just see it and it freaks me out every time, but I do know it's normal because I've counted all that shit, so. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, they're, they're two things that I don't particularly like about having long hair, and plus it takes longer to style, so there's three. Next question is from Bobby Marlin. So Bobby Marlin says, I'm currently growing my hair out and I wish to have a beach look, something like Jay Alvarez. Oh, I wish I had hair like Jay Alvarez as well. Um, however, I have straight hair and I don't know what to do. Do you have any suggestions that could help me obtain the look? Products, hair routines, and yeah, that's pretty much it. They said, thanks Thomas, keep up the amazing work. I will do that. So um, in regards to achieving a hairstyle like Jay Alvarez, he's got very beautiful, curly, gorgeous hair. It just looks like he wakes up out of bed and it's like, pfft, 
fuck you, man. Like, you look too good. But uh, if you've got straight hair, yes, it's going to be definitely hard for you to achieve that look. I'd recommend trying out the pin curls that I did a few years back uh, and just seeing if you even look good with the curly hair. But on top of that, if you want to go for something more permanent, you can always try getting a perm, which is like the opposite to what a chemical straighten is. It takes straight hair from being dead straight to really, really curly, just like Jay Alvarez's. So they're two things that I would recommend if you've got straight hair. And now for the next question, question number 10, the question you've all been waiting for, my favorite porn category. <laughs> you dirty bastards, if you made it to this long, then ugh. <laughs> I said I would answer this question, so I'm gonna do it anyway. And my favorite porn category is, I can't. <laughs> I can, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna blush. <laughs> my favorite porn category is, <laughs> bareback. <laughs> It sounds so naughty to say, but seriously, okay, look, in all honesty, like, the reason it's that is because bareback sex or normal sex is just, it's like without a condom. Who doesn't like having sex without a condom? Do you? Like, it's the, it, it feels amazing. So, and when I watch that, I'm kind of like, okay, yeah, that's cool. I, that's closer to what I could imagine. And it looks better than a condom. A condom just looks weird. So... <laughs> There you have it. That's my favorite porn category. I can't believe I just incorporated this into a Q&A, but hey, you guys asked for it. And that comment as well, or that question, was the most liked question on the bloody feed. So use, use are all dirty. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so that is 10 questions that I just answered and that was actually really fun. I like going from hair to normal to hair to normal and throwing in a bit of like promiscuous fun in there. <laughs> and now you know a little bit more about me, so surprise. Um, that's all I really have for you this week. I really hope you enjoyed this Q&A. Um, stay tuned for more fitness related content because that is coming. I, I'm gonna show you how I got these. And remember, I will be replying to every single comment for the first 24 hours on this video. So if you want your comment responded to or if you wanna ask any extra questions and have an answer, uh, make sure you make, leave me a comment, <laughs> okay? That's all you have to do. And if there's a thousand comments, if there is a thousand, I am responding to a thousand comments, okay? You got it? <laughs> I will do it, don't challenge me. I'm just waiting for you to challenge me. And that's it. So I'll see you next week. Goodbye. Um, like that's actually a category? Like Yeah, like unprotected sex. That's what really? they should yeah. Really? So there's so like, Well, because it's dangerous in the gay world, right? Like right. So um yeah, it's kind of like this naughty fantasy, I guess, that people have. But uh, not only that, like unprotected sex is like oh duh, the better. Like as if who likes having sex with a condom? Like, oh. Still on the record. Oh dear. Haircuts. Haircuts for men. Haircuts for girls. Haircuts gone wrong. Haircuts for women. Haircuts for boys. Haircuts for long hair. Haircuts for round face. Haircuts for thin hair. Male haircut. Long haircut style for men. <laughs>